Hey guys, I'm Kimo. And I'm James. And we're James of Games. Well, we're gonna play some games, and Bioshock happens to be one of them. Our very first one. Yeah. So wait, we're supposed to. Oh yeah. We're uh, we're flipping a coin to decide who plays today. Yes, but it's, instead of a coin, we're using a bottle cap because we're really poor. Anyways, <laughs> all right. So. Uh. I tails. Go... Fuck. I was gonna choose tails. Fine, you can have it. All right. Yeah. Tails never fails. Tails never fails. Yeah, tails uh, never fails. It didn't fail. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. James is playing well uh, darker James. Dark yeah. You can tell on the logo, trust me. Yeah. Groceries and meats. Uh I wanna just No, like, go for medium. Medium? Yeah. Alright, so we don't die that much. Yeah, that'd be pretty bad, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, These guys are fucking bad at this shit. I, this doesn't give me the experience I was looking for. <laughs> I can do better with my penis than these can. These people can. I can play these games <laughs> with my hands tied behind my back, my eyes closed, and my TV off. Yeah, that that's, sounds like a really good player. Okay. Yeah, he's really good. He should probably get some money Are for that. Are you afraid yeah. of God? No. Are you... I'm afraid of you. Oh yeah, so the woman is supposed to have like some cool-ass powers in this game. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I think it said 1912, and I'm super, like, into the idea of the time. Oh, yeah, see? 1912. Oh, good job. <laughs> I'm like, like uh, I don't feel like it's a time period that's Ask used that very one. often. Uh -huh. So, it, it could, oh. it's like, offers a new experience. It's life. Or a lane can. What's this? No. What, what is I it? Do you to the boxes. Is it ours? Is it It's going to be a weapon. My idea. I made it very My clear idea. I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Huh. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? Not a lot the going Yeah, there's no. <laughs> Excuse me. How much longer? Oh, you know what? Um, from what I've seen from the game so far, even just like the hands and stuff, yeah. it reminds me a lot of Dishonored. Like the oh, yeah, style yeah. and what We're seems like the gameplay. No. I mean, I yeah. And, uh... Elizabeth! Uh, if any of you don't know who that is, that's much And I think, I think there's like a mechanic or whatever that you want to call it, where um, it's like doing the right thing versus doing the wrong. Otherwise, like with the original Bioshock, that I didn't really get to play. I played it for like five minutes and then my friend took it back. <laughs> oh, I got um. So the reason I didn't play the first one, I had it and I was super hyped. And, but, um, like, brand new 360, and my brother played it right away, my younger brother. So he was playing... Are you going the right way? Uh, yeah, I'm going the right way. Okay, if you say so. So, um... I know what I'm doing. For the 360, my brother was playing it all day. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just play it tomorrow. But then my dad was playing it all night. Playing it out. Like, he was playing it's Fallout 3 at midnight on like max volume. I got really pissed. But it's a great game. How could you be mad? No, because I was like half asleep listening to Liam Neeson tell me about death. Oh. And um, so when I finally got to play it, that? like I put Bioshock in and the, the green, or I put Mass Effect in or something. And um, the green rings started flashing here? and they turned orange and I was like, Hello? sweet Jesus. Jesus. And I got Red Ring right then. And I got super pissed. And I got a, a PS3 and never looked back. And I basically gave all my 360 games to our friend Chris. And he basically owns them now. Oh. Well, that sucks ass. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, my dad played like Mass Effect like four times uh -huh. before I even got to play the 360. Yeah, it sucked, dude. I remember one time I got a Red Ring when, uh. When my friend let me borrow his ex his extra Xbox. Oh, that sucks. But it still worked after that. Oh. I think there used to be like a towel trick or whatever. Whoa, I use a sink. But, uh, oh yeah, see? That's another thing that reminds me of Dishonored. Using sinks! Oh, well, see, the good thing I like about Microsoft right now is I don't think the Red Ring problem is too prevalent anymore. Because if we got Red Ring right now while we're playing, that would suck ass. Yeah, I'm... Be like, uh, well, that's the end of the show! Yeah, oh well. I'm James, and they're James, and we're done. <laughs> <laughs> don't... Don't disappoint us. Whoa. Okay. Okay, well, there's not a lot going on, but there's a dead man. 
there's no sprint. Okay, there is. You could run pretty fast. Yeah, fuck, every screen I'm seeing so far reminds me a lot of Dishonored. That card. But I'm I'm thinking that Ooh. okay, this is easy. Yeah. Oh, wait. I feel like a genius. Fucking finishing that puzzle. That was some Legend of Zelda mm. shit. Man, I feel good about what myself. Oh, I just got it was music. <laughs> and see, this is the problem right now. We're being kind of slow, and uh, not no, lots going on. Really going on. We can talk about some random ass shit. Um. Anyway, so, like I was saying before, the camera was started because we were talking about Superman. Um, there's basically a form of Superman that is a weak to kryptonite and is totally lame. Oh, and then there's like the golden Superman. He has like no weaknesses and like every power, and like he gets the, if his descendants have a power that he doesn't have, he gets that power too. And, he, and like he can create life, right. and like if he dies, he can bring himself back to life. Pretty badass. Yeah, it's pretty. Well, I mean, it's cool, but from like a story perspective, it's just like boring. The there, the this is like, what is going on? This seems a little bit pretty steampunk to me. Yeah. Which is cool, because steampunk is no. always. Well, no, no, when God steampunk is done it. well, a gun. it's awesome. Like, this is like a ride <laughs> at a fucking park where it's like, oh, no. oh, it's pretty cool. I'd be pretty Two. freaked out if I was on this ride. Oh, dude! Today I learned that um, they don't do it anymore, but at Disneyland, if you went up to a Toy Story character, like in costume, and yelled, Andy's coming! Oh, yeah, they would, like, flop on the floor. Yeah, I just read that this morning. Yeah, me too! That's fucking awesome! But they don't do it anymore, I don't think. It's probably because every fucking character... No, um, person would walk up to Woody and be like, Dude, Andy's coming. And then he'd have to, like, fall on the floor 20 times a day. Yeah, getting bruises. Sue, sue the park. I broke my leg because this kid said Andy's coming. I didn't know what to do, I had to drop. Oh, did you know they have cats at the park? No. I, um, I've only been to Disneyland once. But when I was there, I was waiting in line for the um, the Toy Story ride, where it's like you shoot um, targets and all that. Oh, this sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so, I was in line for it, and there was a cat, like, in the, in the grass, like a kitten. And it looked like the cat from Pinocchio. And I was like, whoa! It's cat from And apparently Pinocchio. they, um, they like take in abandoned cats and stuff to Disneyland and train them to get rid of their like rodent problems. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if Mickey Mouse would be very appreciated. Me neither. I mean, they should just let the rats run around and like try to dress them up in little pants. Yeah, little pants, <laughs> little white pants gloves, and shoes. yellow shoes. <laughs> It costs us a hundred million dollars a year to, to uh, make these clothes. <laughs> we have to set up a sweatshop over in Thailand. <laughs> Some of the kids get their hands stuck on the on the shorts. Well, they can't get the buttons right. What's going on? Um. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on. Yeah. But I'm still excited for the experience because the graphics are very nice and steampunk and it feels a bit like Dishonored, which was freaking great. I loved it. Yeah. Um, I didn't play that game a lot either, but I know it's an amazing game. Uh, well, I mean, I hope this is better in Dishonored story-wise because with Dishonored, like, the ending was just kind of like, good job, if you did the good one. Which I did. Oh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, Silver Eagles. I wonder if there are, like, different endings in this game, based on your actions. Right. Because I think that's really cool, to have in a game. Because it shows, like, it kind of shows, like, what your decisions are as a person, sometimes. And it's just, like, more experiences to have, and it creates more replay value, and all that stuff. Right. Like, I kind of wish it was less, you. like, black and white. 
Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? <laughs> Without sin, what grace Excuse has me. forgiveness? Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see to well, this is pretty weird. This keeps us close so, um, to myself. Anyway, yeah, so I wish like choices in games were less black and white with like with Mass Effect. Especially basically like Oh, here's a good one, and here's the bad one, and here's the middle. And then you get a freaking old guy telling the little kid about a story about Shepard. <laughs> <every year, laughs> but then, like, if you want the good powers or the good choices or whatever, it's like, oh, I could just choose this one, and it'll do it. Right. Like, I, I think it's better to have, like, a mystery. And the giving of thanks. Like, uh, my brother's been playing Old Republic, the Star Wars MMO, and some of the choices are freaking hilarious, because, um, like, it'll be like... It'll be like, take revenge on him or interrogate him. So it'll be like, oh, I'm interrogating. That's the good thing to do. Right? And then, like, you, you grab the dude and he's like, I'll interrogate him with my pistol. And, and it's like, you don't even use the pistol. It's the only reason it's there. Just for interrogating? Yeah. Just, just to threaten people. So, I mean, I kind of like that just because it's like, you don't know what you're getting. Um, accept baptism? Can you not accept it? Hey, I guess then we get to sit there and... I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name okay. of our founders, and the name of okay, our Lord. Um, I'm already expecting uh, the story to have like a corrupt system of religion or whatever. <laughs> Drowning me, man. Well, that guy kind of looks blind. Wow. Uh, he's trying to waterboard me. Hey. Let go of me! Let go. Let go of the girl. Who's there? Who's there? Um, oh, okay. Uh, grab my gun. What do you want? Oh, this is really weird. Yeah. Okay. I told you. Not gonna do it. I'll do it. Whoa. What is going on? Why would a door just. That's freaking awesome! But why would a door just lead to the side of a building? It's, it's freaking trippy. <laughs> Which I also have in Dishonored. <laughs> Male Pilgrim 1. I'm happy he's here. Mm -hmm. Wow, this, is, this place is really pretty. <laughs> very pretty. Uh, that's right, guys. This game is very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave these. Father Washington. Yeah. They worship the founding fathers. Yes, they do. Wow, look I, at that guy. <laughs> look at that. Oh man, sexy Franklin, <laughs> sexy Franklin. Oh, cool. Just little little arrows. Well, I mean, you're probably you know, discombobulated. So they may better love the air. He looks like DiCaprio, kind of. I like to get up into people. Have you ever had a hummingbird like fly past your ear? Not till I it's, just saw that. It's the scariest shit you'll ever experience. It's, it sounds like a, a helicopter just like passed by your ear. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't I wonder if they have slaves in this fools. game. All right. If they worship the founding fathers, then sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> this is like, we worship equality. But none, of, none of us are equal. Bullshit. <laughs> Alright, I think I can make this jump. We don't need a death in the fucking first <laughs> six minutes or whatever. Sorry. Yeah, this is super pretty. I really like it. Yeah. Have you ever been to, uh, I went to Salt Lake this summer? Yeah. And I was like, damn, this is really nice. Good to see you. So, uh, we live in San Francisco, guys, and I gotta tell you, By the way. some of the parts, not so nice. Pretty sketchy. Pretty I mean, ugly. If it looked like this, I would love to live in San Francisco. I would go out every day. Every damn day. But it's not that great, so I stay inside. Like a hermit crab. Like a hermit crab. Okay, I think we're gonna end the, this first episode. Damn, that was 10 minutes? I guess so. Holy shit. Anyways, next episode will probably be up and running. Yeah, we'll actually uh, <laughs> accomplish something. Hopefully. Hey, look, ice cream. Oh, there you go. <laughs>